Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you what I ate on a super windy beach day. If you're new here feel free to subscribe and welcome aboard. So as usual I started my day by having a big cup of coffee. We were going to spend the whole afternoon at the beach so I woke up around 10.30 to prep some food to bring along with me. Whenever I go to the beach, I prefer to have light but nutritious meals throughout the day rather than having just a big one. But before getting into that, I decided to have a nice breakfast that would keep me full for longer. So I started by chopping some cherry tomatoes, then I sliced a couple of mushrooms and a red onion. To a heated frying pan, I added olive oil and thrown in the onions and then the tomatoes. Added a bit of pepper and a small amount of salt and let that cook for a while, stirring occasionally before adding in the mushrooms. Then I added a splash of soy sauce and let that cook for around 5 minutes. Time, I toasted a slice of sourdough bread. In the end, I added some fresh parsley and hemp seeds. We arrived at the beach a few hours later, went in for a couple of swims, and then I had a peach. After playing some cards, I had a few of these red lentil zucchini fritters. This recipe isn't mine, it's from Sola from the Bon Appetit magazine. It requires a bit of preparation as you have to soak the lentils overnight and you have to leave some zucchini and onion rest in salt to get rid of the excess water. However, it's super easy to make and I really love doing it whenever I go to the beach because it's incredibly tasty and mess free. Later in the afternoon I assembled a very simple sandwich with homemade hummus and lettuce. Hummus is so easy to make and there's a ton of different recipes out there. Mine is quite simple. To a food processor I basically add cooked peas, minced garlic, a tablespoon of tahini, some pepper and salt, a bit of ground cumin and sweet paprika. Then I add a good amount of olive oil and some water. And blend everything together until it becomes a smooth paste. I usually add lemon juice too, but on this day I completely forgot. But it tasted great anyway. I packed everything in small containers to bring it along. Regardless of all the wind, it was still a really nice day. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up, it really helps a lot. And make sure to subscribe if you wish to see more videos. I'll see you soon.